Brands in here is how they were of sex for tea. Today's question is, should I settle for being friends with benefits with someone since it doesn't seem like a relationship is likely to happen between us? Hmm, this is definitely a difficult situation. I feel like many people find themselves in. I've definitely found myself in this position before. It's like when I'm into someone and I wanted more, but then they made it clear that they weren't looking for a relationship or they just didn't see a relationship being viable with me. And then we could still hook up, but then it's like, I wanted more. So I kind of feel like settling for less doesn't actually like benefit your life in any way. I do feel like it just kind of teases you with the whole like, okay, I still get to have you as part of my life. Or we still get to have like a connection or intimacy, but it also kind of feels like you might view that intimacy as greater than they do since you have feelings for them and they don't have feelings for you. So to them, you're just like a hookup, a body, a nut, a sex partner, someone you can, they can hit up when they're horny, but then you're like into them and you really like them and want to be more and get to know them more and have passion and intimacy and know them on a deeper level and they don't want that. So I feel like it is really hard to just change your mindset when you wanted more to be what they want which is less and some people are capable of that and sometimes it does work out better that okay you just weren't meant to be as a couple so you decide to be friends with benefits and that actually can work out and benefit with some people but again for other people it just is like a tease of getting close to someone but you wanted more and you're never going to get it so it's just kind of like every time you hook up with them it's just kind of a reminder of how you wanted more from them and they're never going to give it to you so it kind of could be a waste of time for you or just a bit of a toxic situation for you because you feel like frustrated internally especially when they do eventually go on to date someone and then it's like you're no longer friends with benefits you no longer have access to them in the way that you once did because now they're with someone else and they are moving on with their lives and that could be frustrating and upsetting for you unless you are lucky enough to move on first and find someone else you want to be with before they can dump you as a friend with benefit and it's just a messy situation but we are used to messy situations in the gay community or any the straight community as well i just personally feel like when a guy has rejected me and just wanted to be friends with benefits i may have like gone along with it but i do feel like ultimately in the end it just wasn't worth it i kind of just feel like if I wanted more and they didn't, then I feel like we should just go our separate ways. Because then in reality, it's like, you definitely want more. Like if you wanted to be more with them, you could want to be more with someone else. So you shouldn't like settle for this person or settle for a lesser relationship with this person because you just have the convenience or know them or you want to just still be part of their life when you could go out there and find someone better for you that you can be with that isn't this person that just wants to hook up so i personally think it's a waste of time to settle for less but again people do it they're gonna keep doing it they're always gonna do it they've always been doing it i've done it before but i've learned from those lessons and just feel like if i know that i want more with someone i shouldn't settle for less with that person when i can go find more from someone else that wants more with me and not just settling to be like well, we can still hook up and stuff because I just feel like that's not a good situation to be in. And it is just a tease, especially when you do see them go on and get more with someone else. And just thinking like they wanted them, but they didn't want me. It's just like, you don't have to deal with that bullshit. Like just move on with your life and find someone better that wants you for you and just not settling for someone that doesn't want to be with you in the same capacity you want to be with them like it's perfectly fine to be friends with benefits just go find friends with benefits with someone that you know that you want to be just friends with benefits with but then you also run the risk of someone else wants to be more with you but you just want to be friends with benefits with them and that's basically the eternal problem of dating in the gay community it's just everybody wants different things at different times and it's practically impossible to find someone that wants the same thing as you at the same time as you and you both want each other it's just a losing game but it's the game we all have to play to find love in this crazy world so don't stop playing but definitely just don't ever settle for less when you know that you want more and that you're capable of more and that you are deserving of more and you know that someone else is out there that can give you the more that you desire 
because it just seems like you're waiting for someone else to change their mind by deciding to just hook up with them. But if you are capable of that and not having any feelings for them, knowing that they don't want to be with you and you wanted to be more with them, then go for it. But I do personally feel like it's just a messy situation and it's best to just avoid the drama and toxicity of it all if you can. So thanks for joining me this episode of Sexpertise.